I would now like to say a few words about this system. And actually much of what I'll say is looking towards a future topic. So this video is meant to motivate our future studies. So you can consider this our way of formulating a problem without being able to come up with a solution for now. So the system is very similar to a system we considered before, but the system doesn't have a solution. That's very easy to see because the only possible x and y that satisfy the first two equations are 1 and 1, and these values of x and y satisfy the third equation, but not the fourth equation. So the system doesn't have a solution. Uh, in other words, the right-hand side is not in the column space of this matrix. It is not within the span of these two columns. So by geometric analogy, asking to solve this system is like asking to decompose this vector, which is not in, the, in this plane, with respect to a pair of vectors in the plane. And of course, that's not possible. These vectors, the two white vectors, can only represent other vectors within the same plane, that's their span, and not any vector out of the plane. So what else could we possibly say about this problem? Well, if we stay in the world of geometry, we would see some, some things that we can say, and that will be our geometric inspiration for future study and future discoveries. So what we could do if we approach this as a geometric problem is, well, we might not be able to get this vector because it's not within the span, but we might be curious to know, well, how close can we get? What's the closest that we can get to this vector within the plane? And that answer is, of course, very simple. It's geometrically very intuitive. And what we need to do is to drop a perpendicular line from the tip of this vector onto the plane, where all of these angles are the right angles. And that's the vector That's as close as we can get to this vector, that's still within this plane. So it's uh, partially unsatisfactory because we didn't meet our goal of decomposing this vector, but we did as well as we could. So we solved this decomposition problem as well as we could. So could we somehow take this view and carry it over to our vectors in Rn? Well, what would we say? We would say that no, we can, that we cannot obtain the vector on the right-hand side exactly, but maybe we can get as close as possible to it. So look for a vector within the span of these two columns that's as close as possible to this vector. But that's where the problem is. That's, the, that's a problem because we don't have a notion for being close, two vectors being close in Rn. That's a, for now, purely geometric concept. For two vectors in Rn, just because they're sets of numbers, we're not able to say whether or not they're close. Right? We could come up with some measures of proximity. For example, if we have two vectors, A and B, and A1 and B1 and so forth are their components, we could define this measure of proximity plus a2 minus b2 squared plus and so forth. And maybe take a square root of the whole thing. So this is actually one of the things that we'll end up doing. But for now it seems rather arbitrary. And not something that seems general in the sense of linear algebra. So what we need is to come up with a concept of distance. Not just for geometric vectors where it's natural and we already have it but for other kinds of vector spaces. But we need to do it not in an arbitrary haphazard way, but in a very systematic way that will not only apply to vectors in Rn, but also to polynomials and all, kind, and all other kinds of vector spaces. So that's exactly what we'll accomplish. And this is one of the reasons why we want something like that, the concept of a distance, so we can solve these approximate problems for these overdefined systems. That's just one uh, out of thousands of applications. So we need a concept of distance. And in linear algebra, that's accomplished through the concept of the inner product. So that's one of the biggest topics that's coming up in the later part of the course. And this video is just meant 
has a single motivation for that topic, and a linear system like this was just a good opportunity to bring it out.